hi there, students. Ridden, as in bedridden or guilt-ridden. We use ridden as a suffix, normally with a hyphen, to say that something is full of something bad or unpleasant. Yeah, so the company is debt-ridden. It's full of debt. There is debt everywhere you look. I felt guilt-ridden having refused to help him, okay? Full of, of guilt, very um, uneasy about it. Um, okay, so this ridden, it's the past participle of the verb to ride, yeah? But we normally take a noun and add ridden, hyphenated um, to the end of it to make make an adjective saying that it's full of something that's not very nice. It describes it has a lot something with a particularly large amount of something undesirable, something that causes suffering. Okay, so um, this is a disease-ridden area of the country. It's full of disease. It's uh, full of something bad. So think about the scandal-ridden uh, world of politics. Yeah, politics is just far too uh, ridden with corruption. Now you see, ridden with. Um, it's full of, it's something that is not good and you find it everywhere. It's dominated by it, it's afflicted by it, yeah? It's affected by it. So this flat is damp ridden and it's really not a good place for you to be living, yeah? A damp ridden flat. So we've got lots of collocations with with this. So he was an angst-ridden teenager. He was full of passion and worries about it. Um, that is a drug-ridden area of the city. Yeah, there are problems with drugs throughout it. It's plagued with them. It's um, dominated by them. Uh, he caught COVID and got very ill, and in his fever-ridden state, he was not able to uh, um, communicate clearly. I don't want that flea-ridden dog in here, yeah? Um, a plague-ridden area of the country, okay? How the... Uh, this book was cliche written. It was written with cliches, full of cliches. Um, a piece of furniture could be uh, woodworm written, written with woodworm or riddled with woodworm as well. Okay, so absolutely full of. Um, ha, the learning English is an obstacle ridden occupation. Yeah, the... Um, constant problems of uh, English pronunciation. Yeah, it's a problem-ridden area, as is spelling as well. A crime-ridden area of the city. Yeah, don't go down there, they'll steal your car. It's very definitely a crime-ridden area of the city. Um, yeah, the uh, poor uh, country of the Ukraine is war-ridden at the moment violence ridden, conflict ridden. It's full of those. The rat ridden sewers are not a place for you to go. Yeah. <laughs> his louse ridden hair. Yeah. He's ridden with lice. Okay. So ridden, completely full of, oppressed by, affected by, dominated by, oppressed by. Um, after the death of her uh, mother, she was grief ridden for many months. Yeah, she was completely full of it. Yeah, and as I said, this is the past participle of the verb to ride. I get the feeling that the idea is this bad thing is riding all over something good, and that's why ridden. So take a noun, add ridden with a hyphen, 
I think maybe bedridden could be one word, and you get an adjective, yeah? Our disease-ridden uh, society, our corruption-ridden society, our money-ridden society, greed-ridden is a very good word, yeah? Our um, pollution-ridden environment. You can use it with just about anything negative, and it's a, a, a great phrase to use. So use, use it as, as a suffix to make, to make adjectives. I think as to formality, I think I would give this a five in formality. I think if the noun word you use is very formal, then it's going to go up. But the formality is a little dependent on the noun you're using, but the written itself, we use it just about anywhere. So yeah, my, uh, the uh, my I guess you might say my uh, channel is ridden with typographical errors where I've made mistakes. Okay, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Ridden, bedridden, disease-ridden, scandal-ridden.